How's it going everyone? My name is Roska and today we'll be showing off some Stunfisk V action. To be honest, it's a Galarian Stunfisk V. v. So, yeah, I have to correct myself. So, uh, this card here is all about blocking. I mean, no, well, sorry, sorry, countering your opponents. Yeah. So, what you do when you counter them is you do 120 damage after you use your dropping bite. So, dropping bite for two colorless energies, you do 60 damage. And during your opponent's next turn, if this Pokemon is damaged, damaged by an attack, put 12 damage counters onto the attacking Pokemon. <coughs> so it will be doing 180 damage each turn for two energies if they attack this Pokemon, of course. And it also has a very, very good ability, which is named Metal Skin. If this Pokemon gets plus 20 HP for each um, Steel Energy, uh, Metal Energy attached to this Pokemon, so you uh, get 240. HP if you attach two energies on here. You could even buff it up, up to like 300 with a um, cape of toughness and it would be 290. So yeah, it would be a very bulky Pokemon that counters a lot of damage. And you could even pair it up with something like a giant bomb. Then you would do 220 damage if they attack you with 180 damage or more. So if they want to one it KO you, you will do 220 damage countering. Now that's a lot, that's a lot. And that could resolve into 200, 200 and yeah, just 220, uh, 220 damage if you have two Galarian Berserkers in, in play. And you did 100 damage with your Trapping Bite. Then yeah, that would resolve into 320 damage. That's a lot, that's a lot. So what we use in this, in this deck is a Crobat V to the Dende GX's and then a 2-2 line of Galarian Berserker then 4 Galarian Stunfisk V uh, and then 3 Jirachis these Jirachis will be very helpful later on and a Zashin V so the Zashin V here is a good counter attack uh, an extra attack I mean to like one hit KO those other Pokemon that you don't want to see or just want to get rid of in one turn so it's a very good card and it charges itself plus it gives you draw, I mean, what more could you ask of a card? And then our items, we run 4 metal sources, very obvious, just to um, charge up all our Pokemon. It's a very good card to get energies out of your discard pile as well, it's just a very good card in general for metal Pokemon. Then we run also 4 quick ball, these are very good to get out your Jirachi and then switch into your Jirachi, charge up your Stunfisk V with metal saucer. Um, switch again into the other Jirachi uh, in your Stunfisk and go with the attack. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. But in any way, the Quick Ball here is great for both the Dene Crobat, Jirachi, Sasha, and Stunfisk. It's good for everything. It's great. Um, plus, it also gets your energy into the discard pile to use for Metal Saucer. Then we run four um, switches since we use Jirachis, plus, it will be very handy. If we uh, want to be some do some tricky plays, those uh, energy uh, switches are very good. We also run f three Galarian Mines. Uh, since it feels like once you use your Trapping Bite, I mean, it's just a little bit better if they don't retreat, you see? So yeah, I kept it like that. Um, and then we use um, two Bosses Order. This is very good to trap something inside the active spot, uh, a big... VMAX for example, um, it could be even good to KO something that has uh, over uh, under 80 HP, since we will be very likely have one Berserker in place, so we'll do 80 damage. So in imagine if we knock out a, um, a Jirachi from the bench, so we boss, us, boss them in our, in our active spot, their active spot, we KO it and then their next Pokemon will be damaged with our counter. So yeah, I mean it's good. It's good to have it here. It's good to have it in any deck actually. And we also run two Mel or Lana just to um, heal our Pokemon again if they don't do that much damage. Since we will be forcing them to get extra damage if they want to one hit KO us. And if they don't, if they do if they choose to do less damage to two hit KO us, then we can just Melo Lana into safety and then do the same thing with another Stunfisk. Or just retreat into the, uh, or just switch into the old Stunfisk, you can choose. Uh, then we have four Marnies, these are just very good draw, plus Hand Disturb for the other opponents. And then in total we run four Professor's Research, I know it's annoying that I have so many different <laughs> different sets. Um, yeah, so we've got a Reverse from Sword and Shield, a Hollow from Sword and Shield, a Hollow from Champion's Path, <laughs> and then a regular from Sword and Shield. I know it's a very... 
um, ugly, let's call it that. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is, lads, it is what it is. So yeah, and then in total we run four giant bombs. Now before I ran Greedence, you know the one that gets your two cards from your deck. Well, it's it's a, it was a good idea, but I mean, now nah, you don't need these giant bombs that often. So I mean, having four in here is just enough. You don't need any other things to search for them. We also run two uh, weakness guards, since sometimes the case can be that they have fire. So we just want to like make sure our Pokemon doesn't die out of nowhere. So yeah, we put, uh, attach this to our Stunfisk V, since it can still attack that way. It just loses these this 20 extra HP bonus so yeah and then in total we run 12 metal energies you could say oh that's a bit little too much because you only need two to attack but since we really want to make sure we can accelerate metal saucer it's good to have more than none okay so this is the deck list I hope you all enjoyed the gameplay and yeah see you all in the next video cheers let's see how this one goes so lately I've been playing a lot of Magic the Gathering, um, I, I really enjoy it and I'm thinking to make some videos about it later in the future. So perhaps we will become a multi trading card game channel, who knows, who knows. Maybe you guys will like it, maybe you will not. I, I will maybe make a video about my first deck in that game and that will be about it to be honest. Okay, so we start off with our Stunfisk V, Galarian, and yeah, I'm gonna put down Meowth as well. Hmm. So this one seems to be a lightning. Lightning. Oh, it's a oh Dracozolt. Nice. And oh boy, that's a beautiful Marnie there. So what I think this will be is just something. Yeah, maybe Sableye. Who knows? Okay, we still don't know. We still do not know. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is discard that energy. So what do we have in hand? We've got quite a lot, quite a lot. Um, I'm going to get the Zashin V. Look at draw. Hi. Um, no, I will not attach the energy onto Zashin. I want to attach to my Stunfisk. Get as much damage in as possible. Alright, so that's Kellogg well. That's not a big deal for us. Not a big deal. So he gets the fossil, rare fossil in play, uses a quick ball. And it's got a bird keeper. Okay, okay. And what will he get? What will he get? He gets a Vicovolt V. Ah, yeah. I forgot that card existed. I do. I did pull off the Vicovolt V lately. That was that was pretty fun. I mean, really, it looks like a good card if you look at it. Just look at the lighting in the back. All that detailed lighting. It's just wow. <laughs> it's just amazing for the super super zap cannon. Wow. It just. <laughs> It's a beautiful card. Once you get a card in real life, you can really see all the detail. Like here you can see it, but you don't notice it. All these lightning bolts. Uh, I've never really looked at it. I mean, that's how I feel. Same for this one. If you look at this very closely, all this grass, it just looks so great. You can really see that it was standing on the ground and it just flopped up with all, all this dirt on it. I don't know, I'm looking too much into the details. <laughs> um... Okay, so since this deck will not be doing a lot of damage, I'm gonna discard this thing and get another Stunfisk and charge it up with this Metal Saucer. And then after that, I'm gonna... Should I do that? I mean, all the things that I could get from this Professor's Research is... Well, it's not much, to be honest. It's not much. But once he gets this Paralyzing Bolt, Okay, I'm gonna do it. I need to use my items. Okay, so we've got a switch. Oh man, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna go this far. Oh, wait, actually, I, I will. I will. Haha, <laughs> I did see that. Yes, yes. And I'm gonna remove this switch since I will not be able to use it next turn. So we evolve our berserker. So we KO this rare fossil. That's great. 
and we use our last metal saucer to get another stun fisk v charged up and we're gonna keep the money great it's re it's resistance it does not have it the vika volt v does not have any resistance and we top decked our uh, we priced our crowbat v that's great that's very good okay this seems like a good first match actually wow but it's not over yet, so if he wants to do this, he will be damaging himself by a lot. Aha, okay, so he just did this, that's very annoying. But to be honest, it's not a big deal. It's really not a big deal. Okay, we're gonna use this. We are going to Marnie, I don't see like, I don't feel like we need to do anything else. Yeah, just Marnie. I don't want to get all these Pokemon in my bench right now. So we didn't get anything. So let's just put this one there. Okay, and, and we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We need some energies. Okay, there it is. And we get our two energies. Wow. If he decides to KO us, that's no big deal. That's no big deal. Then we just we can then we are able to use a quick ball, metal saucer, get a Glarian mine in play. Perhaps we need to get another Meowth in play, because we will do 100 damage and then 120, which means 220 in total if he attacks with a Paralyzing Bolt or Super Zap Cannon, if we attack with a Stun Fisk V. So that means that we are in a good in a good spot. So okay, once he KOs the Zashin V, if he does not, then this Vika Volt is dead anyways. And if he does, then we will put the Glaring Meowth in play to later evolve into Berserker. Tapu Coco, okay, okay. So you you will use Zero Orc, Zero Orc, Zero Aura, <laughs> Zero Aura, um, to use this charge, I believe, I believe. I mean, it's pretty weird combo, to be honest. I mean, I don't really see why you would use it. Could better just use the Super Sub Cannon then. Okay, you use a switch to do 80 damage. All right, all right. That's a weird one, that's a weird one. Well, either way, you give me time, that's that's great. Okay, yeah, sure. Ah, I can see why you do that, I guess. <laughs> so, thank you very much for that. Uh, what we will do now is put down this. Mm, let's get our Stunfisk V in the active spot. Uh, we don't need to use our quick ball or our prof. Ooh, ooh, no, no, don't do that. <laughs> so let's see what he wants to do here. In this this situation, I'm curious. So how much HP? No, it has now 90. Yes, 90. Quick math. Hey, hey, you got him. <laughs> okay. So I'm curious as to what he will do. Guzma and Hala, really. I mean, to be honest, I don't really give a damn if you put this down. I mean, it's just here to disturb you. But it's not necessary, as it seems, since you will have to get an extra energy onto this. By the way, it's actually very ridiculous. Why is this Sabdos has. Why does it have a retreat cost of 2? Plus, another thing, I don't get why the hell. I know it's a flying type, but Zapdos is lightning. It's a lightning legendary. Why is it weak to lightning? It's just. So dumb. Just look at it. It is already covered in lightning all over the place. In the anime itself, it, it just gets hit by lightning balls. It's it's insane. Oh, I see, I see. So he attached this air balloon, which was the reason why he could not retreat. Aight, aight. I, I see, I see. Well, you can attack me if you like. Do that. Do it. Aight, aight. is gonna go for the big damage. That would be good news for us. Uh, okay. Okay. Weird play. Weird play. I'm very confused to that play. Very, very. So we got another weakness guard. So that's an extra energy to charge something up. So that's our last Galar, Galar mine, I believe. Yeah, that was our last one. Wow. Actually, we got all of them very early. What I am gonna do here is... 
I mean, I don't really have to worry about anything. I just keep attacking. I don't mind at all. So this one has resistance to this metal, but I mean, it's no big deal. So whatever you do now, you will do damage to yourself, which will result into more damage to, for me. Okay, yeah, money, money, sure. So far, it's a very, uh, it's a game in a very much favor for us. So, okay, he uses a quick ball and he discards a vitality band? Okay, okay. What? So, you, if you use a vitality band, you do 60. So, you do 120. So, you do more and more and more, but it's not enough. Vitality band is just, it doesn't cut it. If it was 20, then it would be perfect. You would be doing 70, which would result in 240, which would result into most stage 1 dead. Even now, even so, you would hit three times with your 60, uh, yeah, 70, sorry. And then you would be doing 230? No, am I being dumb now? No, it's 210, which would hit most of the of the V cards. So yeah, if you do 20, that's enough, but the Vitality Manager just doesn't cut it. Well, actually, no, I see why, since it does only 50, that's a rounded number. 210 is not a random number, so yeah, okay. Otherwise, you don't really have a choice. It's only 50, it's 50 or 60, you don't have anything else to do. Mm. So he goes on and makes me switch. Well, that's just amazing, thank you. Yeah, go ahead and do whatever you like, mate. <laughs> well, now he can't. Yeah, okay, I see. So now I cannot counter anything if he damages me. Hmm. Neat, neat, very neat. So yeah, he has damaged all my Pokemon badly. So that's uh, that could be trouble for us later on. But this dash in here is just really to, like, if he attacks now with the 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 Vika Volt, big all attack. Perhaps I could make it work. That uh, this dash in will be killing him. And he attaches an energy to the rare fossil. Okay, uh, interesting move and very interesting one indeed. Let's get rid of that bird keeper that you got there. Okay, okay, great. So we will knock out this one in one shot. Maybe I should have attached an extra just to, just to be sure. I don't know why. <laughs> if I did that, then he would have to um, discard up to six energies just to KO this one bat. So now if you try and attack me with Super Zap Cannon you will just die from 220 damage. Okay, uh, good move. Nope, it doesn't work, sad. Hmm. How many has he used of these? So one, okay only one. This deck is a little bit all over the place. He uses a lot of things once, it seems. Okay, so he did not attack. I'm gonna keep the Mellow and Lana for something else. In the meantime, I'm gonna... Oh yeah, okay, I see. <laughs> so let's just damage him. Okay. I mean, KO him. So yeah, you can go and attack me. That's alright. Please do 190. Perhaps he's not looking at my uh, total amount of HP. He's thinking, oh yeah, 180 HP. Yep, but that's not the case, mate. And I believe he will concede right now. I think he's a little bit confused as to what the fuck happened. And now I can switch into other things. Wow. Okay, what I am gonna do is... 
Use this Mallow on Lana. Discard this Jirachi this and Stunfisk. I keep saying Stunfisk, but I mean it's a Gallery on Stunfisk. Okay, yeah. Because <laughs> the other, the, the normal Stunfisk that we all know, it is a uh, Lightning type. It's nothing else. I know we could have just KO'd with Zashan, I mean. I'm just letting him be a little bit now. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we still have two bosses in our deck. I believe. Okay, no, never mind. We have only one boss left. So that's not a KO. And now it's our turn. Okay, yeah. You go for this, which will another will be another knockout. I wonder what you can do about this now. Bam. Yeah, but okay. This is a really good matchup for us since this this lad does not KO quickly. And since we do a lot of damage if they only hit us for a little bit. They yeah, it's just a good matchup from in my terms. Really good matchup in my terms. So yeah, I do believe that this Viker Volt V is good, I mean, um, this allowing your opponent from using items is just great, it's just a great thing. Okay, so he uses three of these Zap Dolls, one Tap Coco, which is normally his Prison Star, one Zero Arc, uh, Zero Aura, <laughs> two, uh, one the Dene GX, two the Rakazolt and two Arcazolt, ah, okay, okay, so that's why he attached to do this 200 damage perhaps, I don't know, uh, 2 Vikervolt, only 2 Vikervolt, okay, he uses a lot of trainers, oh god, I've never seen this many trainers in the deck, so he has some of these very valuable cards, but his deck seems like he is a new player, alright, 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 he has some idea of what he does, but yeah. Oh yeah, the new ladder. I'm very excited for this boy, the Gengar Mimikyu, because of um, Alakazam V. I am so excited for Alakazam V, man. I can't wait for Vivid Voltage. I pre-ordered some things, and I think I'm gonna open them up in a video. We'll see, we'll see. So yeah, I'm very excited for this card, since if you pair Horror House GX with your Alakazam V, you use uh, Lavender Town to look into your opponent's hands and see, okay, how many trainers do they have? And if you do more damage, if you just focus on the amount of cards they have, then you use your Alakazam V. But if you see that they have so many trainers, you could just go for Gengar Mimikyu and use Poltergeist. So yeah, it's a little bit go between these two and have a look what they have most of, what would do more damage, amount of cards, of amount of trainers, you see. So yeah, it would be very good. I'm very excited for it, very, very excited. So yeah, um, up to the next match, I believe. <laughs> Alright, so this is our second match of the day. I was uh, filing it up, that's why I was waiting, filing the, the last video, the first part. So we've got a good start with a Jirachi, Stunfisk and a Galarian Meowth with two switches. So that's great to compare with the Jirachi. So we would we would be able Oh okay, it's a colossal. That's a good one. Since we Um since we will have 240 damage a HP, which is not enough to KO with 220 damage. So that's a good pair if you pair it with Sandaconda V. I believe they will use the Sandaconda V. Oh, Rhyperior? Oh, well that's the same story actually. So we've got another Jirachi. We'll have a look at whatever we pull. Um, okay, let's just use this. Okay, yeah, perfect, perfect. So we've got this Quick Ball here. What I'm gonna do is put this down. Um, this card, that one. Get out the Zashin V. Use this switch. Get this. Okay, so not much there. So we will get this Marnie. And now we will use this 
energy over here to, to charge him up. And use Interpret Sword. Okay, we get nothing special. Two Professor's Research and a Gla Glarium Meowth. Nothing that we need right now, which is why I got the money. Okay, so it's a Galarian Farfetch'd. So that will be a Surfetch with Meteor Strike or something like that. Which he will have enough damage, which because it does 220, I believe. And it cannot attack until it leaves the active spots. Which is a lot more than just can't attack next turn. So yeah, that's... Uh, that's painful. Okay, we woke up, but that doesn't really matter since we will put ourselves to sleep again. Mm, we don't need another Glary Meowth, I believe. But I'm still gonna use this Stellar Witch. Wish, new witch. <laughs> um, and we're gonna get this Metal Sauce. I'm very happy we got that. So we la let's get our Stunfisk ready and rolling. We're gonna use this switch over here. We're, we are gonna get this. Uh, this Meowth and this Professor's Research discarded to get this Galarian Berserker to KO this Farfetch'd. I hope it doesn't have okay, it doesn't have resistance to this, and he conceded. Got that. Why? <laughs> you know, actually, I do believe I see some difference in my gameplay, in my game style, uh, play style. Okay, two tickets is good. It's good. Um, since. I play so many uh, Magic the Gathering. I see. I look so much deeper in all the things I do. Uh, I don't know, but in in, in uh, Magic the Gathering, you you have so many different aspects to look out for. While in Pokemon, it's a little bit more go forward, but you still have a lot of these aspects. I wonder what is about this deck. So we have one Passime. Pass. Yeah. Okay. I can't say, say the name. Um, Call for family. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's a good blast resort. We got three Roly Coly, two Kark Hall, and one Colo oh, two Colossals. Which one of them is a gold one, which is really, really look good and looking good. I love it, man. Oh. <laughs> uh, and then we got three Farfetch and two Surfetch. No, three surf Surfetch as well. With 180, I was completely wrong on this number. Uh, and then he uses one Rhyperior V. Okay, I, I see why he conceded. It's not very really, uh, consistent deck, uh, it seems. Yeah, okay. Okay, I believe, I see why. Okay, yeah, and let's do another match. Let's, let's do another match. Oh, we got a pack. Okay, no, never mind. We're gonna open that one pack here. It's Darkness Ablaze. I don't really open any Darkness Ablaze packs at all, since I just use them to trade. So this is our chance to get the pack. By the way, I'm keeping these coins for... Um, for... No, I need to go to store. Oh, a private items, but that's for later. Um, so I'm keeping these uh, coins for vivid voltage because I really want to open. I can't I like some V man. Oh, now we've got these two chests as well. So let's open this one up here. We're gonna go to another match soon. Worry. Okay, so not much to look at except for this uh, Ariodos with spider net. By the way, why is Dirk Trio such a bad card? I mean, all the all his cards in few in the past have been so terrible. All except for this Earthquake one, actually, that's a pretty good one. Nah, it's still bad. All these cards. This one is just so terrible. Like everything about it is terrible. And what is a rare? And Draco's Olds. We've got three of them now. Great. Alright, so that was a pretty disappointing deck, uh, pack, but that's alright. Ooh, Chip Chip Axe, Ice Axe, oh, I'm so happy with that. I only have one of these, and I always want an extra for some kind of decks, but... And a Beast Eyes, um, yeah, I, I believe it's good. But I think I've got enough of those. Alright, let's move on to the next match. I'm very happy with the Chip Chip. Very, very... Oh man, I can't wait for Ar uh, like a V man. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for it. All right, next opponent, please come up. Show yourself. Oh my God, how long can this take? <laughs> That's been a while. Okay, so it has a normal type deck box. Probably wants to hide. Um. If it is something like an Altaria, 
I believe the damage counters, like the countering, does hit Altaria because it only prevents damage while the countering is damage counters. So yeah, and we've got a great start. Oh my god, this is a good good start. So we've got a Jirachi and a Stunfisk V. If we manage to get something like a Quick Ball off the top deck or Jirachi would be great. We don't. That's, that's good enough. Quick Ball. Oh my god, how lucky can we be? So what we will do now is use this Quick Ball over here. Um, so after we use that, we draw three. Yeah, I'm gonna use the Crowbat. Not gonna use the Sashin. I'm gonna be looking for another switch to start attacking and win the game. <laughs> wow. Give me that switch. And we've got the switch. Oh my god, how lucky can we be? <laughs> this is our first turn. I oh, fuck I forgot this is our first turn. This is we are the we are going first. <laughs> how can we be set up so early? Shit, I I thought I was go I was able to attack. Whoopsie daisy. Otherwise I've just let the Jirachi in act a spot. Ah damn man. That's so foolish of me. I was going too far quick. I was going way too quick. Oh my god, thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> How lucky can I be? Wow. This dude helps me out as well. Oh, sorry, I'm freaking out, but I mean. <laughs> so, this is a mad party deck. Aight, aight. So, Galeria missed the rhyme. Wow, we have. Once on your turn, you may switch. Wait, why am I reading this? <laughs> Bonus face down prize cards with the top of their deck. Ah. Imagine if this would ever be something good. Hmm. Actually, you could pair this with some stall decks, like um, yours or Beetle, to look at some cards they really need and then make them a prize card so they just don't get it. <laughs> okay, so. Hmm. That's a pretty tight situation here over here. I will be throwing away all my bosses, which I don't like. Um So I'm gonna look for Amani. Please give me Amani. <gasps> my god, Jirachi, you are really the stellar wish over here. My god, I make a wish and I just get it. I just get it. I just get whatever I need. Now that's just amazing. That's really good. So we've got another Jirachi. We cannot start attacking now, since we did use this ability. I'm gonna get another energy of this, and I'm gonna wait. And I'm gonna give him some time. So yeah, I wasted my switch uh, over there. Really did. I thought I thought I was going second or something, and I could attack him and ki kill him and win. <laughs> well, yeah, I completely forgot. I was actually going first. So how much damage does this mad party already have? 40, 80. Yeah, okay, 80. 80 damage. He already has three Sinistry in play. I wonder what these two last cards are. They're probably not that good since he just uses this attack. All right, so I believe that this is not a good time to use the professor's research. We don't really lose anything. Okay, good good ones yeah very good so what I will do now is oh boy what did I do uh, I'm gonna get rid of this metal energy I don't need it I mean I'll probably need it but I mean yeah okay well, I'm gonna use the stellar wish get another money I believe and switch into this stun fisk I gave it another energy there before just because extra HP. So now he needs 13 Mad Party Pokemon in his discard pile, which is now only four. So he needs nine more. Nine more! That's that's a lot of Roxies, that's a lot of quick balls. Okay, never mind. He also gives up. Now this is a really weird day to be honest, since I haven't seen much resistance with my deck now. I mean, look at it, my streak right now. It's tr six. The the tr the I had a streak of three before in my first game, but that was because of playing other days. Yesterday, I don't I don't think I've I came online yesterday actually. I've been playing Magic the Gathering all day. <laughs> but uh, it's, uh, I'm gonna leave it here. I don't I need more time for other decks to record as well. This is the only moment I actually get to record 
since of Corona, uh, I can't record alone. Right now, my brothers are upstairs because otherwise they will um, be in the recording, and I don't want that. But anyways, um, so Galarian Stunfisk V. That was a very good deck, uh, very good matches to be honest on our part only. Uh, the first one was okay and good. Then the last two were just, I mean, lucky on our side since they did really just bail out. No, three I actually played three more matches. Wow. Okay. Oh no, I'm, I'm no, I'm 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 remembering it false, but it's all right. So yeah, um, this was Galarian Stunfisk V. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more of these kind of decks. Uh, don't forget to check out our Discord server. We do tourneys, uh, yeah, tournaments. Um, and we also give out prizes. There is also something, a system that we use to get a champion. So if you win the finalists, the finals, you get to battle the final boss, which would be the um, ch champion that's holding the title. If you manage to beat him or her, you get a new title and you will be able to get packs next tourney, tournament if you beat the next finalist winner. So that's how you uh, that's how we do it. It's pretty fun. It's a pretty neat idea. Uh, but yeah, don't forget to check uh, the Discord server out. Uh, for now, we are doing tournaments where the moderators pay for the prize pool, which is amazing. I love it. It's uh, very generous of them. So yeah, um, it's a free it's free tournaments. You get packs, come have fun. We all play some kind of rogue deck mostly. It's a lot of fun. It's really a lot of fun. So yeah, don't forget to check it out, and I will see you all in the next video. Cheers, lads. Have a good day further.